And we're back for game two. I'm up a game. Because I was so lucky. Shocker. Ponza Tech versus does, Tech doesn't do anything. Green White expert. You had the you had the uh, bonfire in your hand though. Oh well, yeah, just uh, I had to hard cast it. Yeah, that's true. Well, I'll bend the play. Yeah, this hand's actually good. This actually, this hand's great. Um, this hand has no turn one dork, turn one dude, but it has tons of enchantments, and it has a core spirit dancer with only one mana. If it had two mana, I would be considered. I would consider keeping it. Oh, you're going first. Sorry, I'll let you talk. Oh no, you're not. I have I have this, this, and these. We have everything that this deck wants to do and make people hate their life. This is very situated. Like in the blind, this is very bad to keep. Uh, even knowing your opponent, it's very bad to keep. I'm gonna look in. Okay, this is way worse. <laughs> we got one, boys. Um, I have three enchantments and three lands. I think we just had to mulligan it. All right, this is a, this is a good. This is a good one to keep. Cool. We can just lose, but it's all right. We're gonna bottom that because it's not a land. So oddly enough, I think leading with one of these into that will give away what we're playing. Right, so we're, again, we're hoping Z does this correctly and plays like he doesn't know Ron. So we're gonna lead. Oh, with, <laughs> we're gonna lead with uh, this stomping ground and play this bird out. So at this point, I'm like, oh look, it's it's probably like you're some like Naya Company. Naya Company, yeah, yeah, something along those lines. Well, well we didn't hit our land like we wanted to, so we're gonna pass the turn. Oh, well, what's uh? Round up the cavalry over here. So, uh, I guess we could, uh, get a lot of our mana going here. Ramp. Oh, I didn't even know that's how. <laughs> <laughs> The interactions of not knowing how uh, your deck works, I guess, guys. Sorry about that. I can't but, win from this position unless I rip basic, basic. Well, then, uh, <laughs> we're going to play this. <laughs> and just in case, for whatever reason, since we don't know what he's playing, oh, we'll just the jam white border and the non white border. Classy. Yeah, so my same classy opponent gave me my uh, fourth white border, so I could tilt off my opponent. And I'm, aha, mountain. He's obviously playing burn, guys. He has basic mountain out. You don't know what I'm on. You don't know what I'm on. Uh, you, are you on no land? Oh. See, like at this point with stone rains, and if I ever even hit a basic, it's just so sad. <laughs> Sad <laughs> understatement. I have no pressure though, guys. <laughs> we'll see how long this game can last. We're right now, I'm currently on turn five. Oh, so we just need to land. We <laughs> actually just need to land. If we had this Utopia Sprawl, we would have been fine. Sad day. Now, I should if, if this were a tournament and a game one, I would have scooped so that's not to show the daybreak coordinate. But. Oof. Oh, I just misclicked and clicked the wrong one. I meant to hit a blood moon. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> you, you clicked your lane by accident? Yeah, I meant to click it one of the blood moons. Oh, okay. So we, we just wanted to add a clock because the blood moon is uh, redundant anyways. Right? Now that we see what he's playing. Yeah. But, but definitely in a tournament, you definitely don't want to... Uh... Right, because we're still playing as if there's... Oh, he hits a basic. Sacrips. <sighs> Oh, okay. We have outs. No, you don't. Okay. Tighten him. Go. So Z will be dead next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
One of the Z's will be dead next turn, confirmed, and it won't be me. Oh, you will not be dead next turn? No. I'll be dead oh, on I... your turn. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my, my buddy here, so clever. <laughs> Watch, she's like, just kidding, I have the path. Just kidding. Don't have it. Path is actually pretty good against this Ponza deck because they have very little threats. And we are dead. Bazinga! <laughs> Look at that. It's doing it. It's doing it. Hans is doing what it does. It, it makes everyone hate themselves. All right, so we will see you in the sideboard. And welcome to sideboarding for Zane. We are going to sideboard against Ponza with Greenlight Hexproof. And uh, we're going to bring in a path and take out a spirit link because life is not that relevant plus there are many other ways to gain life another card that i've considered is unravel the ether but i think we're for fighting over a blood moon like i have to have my one basic and then i have to unravel the ether and it just seems that seems like a lot of setup and things need to go perfectly uh and i just don't think any of these other cards in the sideboard are good so let's just get lucky well, we're here to board with a wonderful creation of a deck uh, called Panzer. Uh, so against Zane, we will be on the draw, right, for this game, for game three. So I like to bring in the three Kitchen Finks. Those will come in. They're just good blockers, and it helps you gain some life. And we're going to be taking – and we're going to bring in the Factory and Gus, but that's going no matter what, play or draw. We're going to take out the Storm Breath because it doesn't really do much. Like, it's a threat, but, like – a lot of the things that we do anyways are threats with Inferno Titan, Thragtus, Kitchen Franks now, and Baloth. So like, and Blood Moon is like the biggest threat against him. Uh, Acid Moss is just, I think it's a little too slow. I think the Surveying is fine. If we're Acid Moss in him, we're probably going to win the game, but we don't want to cut all of them. And Beast Within is just nothing that we really care about that he has is worth the Beast Within and him getting another token. And I think if we're beast withinning ourselves already, we're probably going to lose that game anyways. So I'm going to cut those two. And uh, if I was on the play, though, I like the angers because we're able to hit their creatures. So if we ever go on the play, which I assume will happen, we will do that different boarding then. 